And over to Brian Goddard for a check on the Storm Team forecast. A little easier day for you back there today? We're breathing a little easier. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Feel a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, wow, yesterday, crazy. And it's, it's still snowing last night. It just would not stop. The storm system that wouldn't quit. And remember, this is the one that created the blizzard conditions down into Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. So it has caused headaches all across the region. Take a look what's going on right now in our Viper HD, and we'll show you that around the area, quiet. Now, we do have a little bit of a light snow making its way into the Madison area, but it would be a dusting at best as it moves very quickly. And you know, yesterday we were joking about how this storm caught us off guard. Uh, a friend of mine works in Waterloo, Iowa. They were forecasting a trace to an inch with this storm system. That turned out to be more than a foot. <laughs> I guess I can't laugh. I said four to five inches in Sheboygan, and you're up to around 17 inches of snow. Crazy storm. They don't have a lake to blame, though. We do. All right, let's take a look what's going on. Always looking for that blame. Around the area for today, uh, high pressure starting to settle in from the northwest, so it's going to be cool and dry off to the west, and more sunshine. We're still stuck with the clouds. Could still see some flurries, and even a scattered light snow shower later this evening that could bring us a dusting of accumulation, but that's just about it. For tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine and still cold, or cooler, I should say. High struggling to hit 30 degrees. The warming trend is off to the west. We don't see that um, until early to mid next week. It's going to be chilly throughout the weekend. All right, this is how it shaped up, and that is weird. It's tough to forecast lake enhanced snow, and this is why. Two to five inches inland, five to nine, the entire area in blue. So that's a good swath. This is the area I thought was going to be about three to five. And then you get these red areas, nine to 12, and then from just north of Port Washington, uh, Cedar Grove to Sheboygan, <laughs> Plymouth, 13 plus up to around almost 17 inches of snow in Sheboygan. Still cloudy, that storm system keeping us cloudy, and we're still seeing a few flurries occasionally. The temps, though, still comfortable. They're at or above freezing in most locations, except for like Waukesha at 30 and 31 in Sheboygan. We are melting snow, and the wind has a little bite to it today. Between 20 and 25 miles per hour, it's going to slowly decrease a little bit throughout the afternoon. It'll still be northerly at 10 to 20 tonight. That'll drop uh, wind chills into the single digits and the teens. And as I mentioned this evening, could see a little bit of light snow for a dusting of accumulation, otherwise just flurries. We'll keep the flurries in for tomorrow. Could see a little bit of sunshine, but still mostly cloudy. It has been a dreary week, but temps upper 20s to around 30, so cooling down just a bit. That wind will not feel so good tomorrow at 15 to 30 miles per hour. Finally, that storm system leaving us is now, it's now affecting the east coast, but mainly with rain. High pressure going to replace that. We'll see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow. More for Saturday and even more for Sunday. Sunday, the better the two days with lighter winds. And then the next storm system we were thinking could bring us some snow for Tuesday. As of now, looks to be staying to our south. Stay tuned. I wouldn't mind it staying to our south. It's March almost. I'm done. 35 degrees today with some flurries and still windy. Breezy tonight, a dusting of snow this evening, otherwise 23 and some flurries. Your seven day planner, 30 on Friday, 26 on Saturday, 10 degrees Sunday morning and 28 for the high. And then we get back into the 30s, just a few flurries on Tuesday. Much quieter. We're back after this.